Hey vlog fans, this is Erin Mills, entomologist for the Cockerel Butterfly Center. Have you ever seen that beautiful framed artwork featuring real butterflies and moths and wondered, how could I make that myself? Well, if you have, you're in luck. I'm going to teach you how to do that very thing through this series of short but informative videos on how to spread a butterfly. Now, before we get started, we're going to have to gather some very important supplies. So welcome to part one, gathering supplies. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a butterfly or moth. Let's not forget moths. The butterfly that I'm choosing to work with is this beautiful butterfly from Southeast Asia called a green kite swallowtail. It did die of natural causes. Now a quick note on attaining a butterfly to use. You may be lucky enough to find a dead butterfly or moth around your home or on a walk through the park or whatever. That's wonderful. But we in no way encourage or condone the killing of poor innocent butterflies or moths for your own personal art projects. If you can't find a butterfly or moth anywhere, we might be able to hook you up. Now, if you're visiting the Cockerel Butterfly Center and see a dead butterfly on the ground, do not pick it up. That would be illegal. We are required by law to freeze our butterflies for no less than 72 hours before they're allowed to leave the premises. So, we do have some available that have been frozen for the appropriate amount of time to comply with USDA rules and regulations. If you're interested, you can contact us at blogadmin at hmns.org. Now, once you've found your butterfly or moth, you're also going to need some insect pins. Now, you don't have to use insect pins. Um, you can use any sort of dress pin or, or a straight pin of any kind, but we do suggest using these. They are ideal and we suggest using a size 2 pin. It's the best size for pinning insects. You're also going to need a piece of styrofoam. The size doesn't matter, but it should obviously be bigger than your butterfly or moth. You're also going to need some wax or tracing paper, enough to cut a piece to fit over your styrofoam board and to make two long thin strips like this. Now another thing that will come in handy is a pair of forceps. Now these are specific butterfly spreading forceps. It can be any kind of forceps. These definitely work best. If you're interested in these or insect pins, they can all be purchased from a website called bioquip.com, which is special for um, insect collecting. Now, there are some things that you may or may not need depending on the shape of your butterfly. So we'll go ahead and go through those. You might need a Tupperware container of any kind, just the lid must be intact, no holes. It must be airtight. You're going to need a piece of window screen or wire mesh of any kind cut to fit in the bottom of your Tupperware container. You will also need paper towels and pine saw, Lysol, Listerine, something like that. Now, once you've gotten all these things together, come check me out for part two, prepping your butterfly.